ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, let me see. Okay, because I want to invite our trainer today. And this is one of my great uh, inspirer, my great trainer. I actually call him my five, my five. Yes, because Rene is always there for me when I need anything, when I call him anytime, if I am stuck, he will always be there to help me. Rene, we are going to do your bio and we'll do it a bit differently today. And I'm excited, yeah, because I'm going to read your bio and I will actually involve you in it. So his name is Rene Liao. His location is Toronto in Canada, all right? Rene, what is your profession? Maybe many people don't know what profession you are in. Hi there again, a very good morning, good afternoon, good everyone, hello there, Nancy. Yes, again, great question. So uh, I, if you're referring to my, my previous uh, profession, yeah, so I used to be in IT as a IT programmer working for companies like uh, IBM and, and TELUS, which is a, uh, one of Canada's largest telecom companies. <laughs> Thank you so much because you have covered my next question, which was what is your previous types of jobs uh, before you came to Opulence Global? Of course, Rene has a spouse, he's married, and Rene has two children, two lovely boys, okay? And Rene, if I may ask you, what hobbies do you like? Well, part of, so hobbies. you just cut off there. Do you have any hobbies? Oh, yes. Uh, actually, I do have quite a lot of hobbies. I'm uh, glad that you asked. So I'm, I'm a big golfer. I like golfing sports, you know, uh, tennis, uh, traveling with my family, of course, you know, seeing new places. Uh, of course, I like my, my, my wine and cigars every now and then, too. So, yeah, a lot of hobbies, though. <laughs> I love that. Renee, tell us something. What is your burning desire as our LD4 in Opulence Global? What is your burning desire? That's a great question. I'm glad that you actually asked that. And for me, because my life has changed so much in the last 16 years of being with Opulence, and I now live this life that I am so blessed and so blessed and so grateful to have. Uh, and because, of course, I have this lifestyle because of not just myself or the, the company, but more importantly, because of the incredible team and all of the partners that we have in the company. So my dream and hopes, again, is to really help as many other people in this company who have that burning desire, who are willing to put in the hard work to live the same kind of lifestyle, uh, such as yourself, Nancy, and see as many people get there. Because uh, the one thing that you'll, you'll see again in today's training with the Calm Plan is that uh, in, in our business, again, you have even more success when you help others have more success. So that's one of my huge, huge desires right now in life. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Two more, very fast. Tell us, Rene, something that no one knows about you. You know, could you be having a secret that as a partners, we don't know about you? You know, actually, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that. I, I, maybe some people have seen it, but, um, you know, I, I may be a very... Uh, you know, focused and serious trainer. Um, I do, of course, have a, a side of me that is, um, you know, especially with my wife, Heidi, um, I think because we're both the younger sibling. So I have an older sister, my wife has an older brother. We can be quite, you know, um, um, young puppy love type-ish, you know, snuggly, wuggly, you know, in the bed, um, you know, uh, craving attention. Like we have that side of us. I don't know if that's, that's the right answer. I don't know. We should just go to the training right now. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. I love that, Renee. How many people knew that Renee is actually the last born in the family? We didn't know most people on the call. That's amazing. And one thing, what is your key to success? This is something that I would really, really love to hear. What is the key to success? Uh, what is your key to success, Rene? I, I think one of the, the, the biggest keys is to have the, the drive. You know, they often talk about your why and your why. And I, I, I truly believe that unless your why is extremely, extremely clear and you have that burning desire, um, you might just kind of go at it half-paced, uh, you know, a sometime or a part-timer. But I think when you have that burning desire where you crave success like you crave oxygen to breathe. 
where if you don't have success, you feel like you cannot breathe and you're you're not able to to grasp that air. Um, I think that's when you will have success because at that point in time, you will do a nothing to stop you to have your success. Awesome. Thank you so much, Renee, for sharing your bio with me and with the rest of the world. At least now we know who Renee is in a very, very summarized, uh -huh. summarized way. And with drum rolls, partners, and even visitors on the call, let's welcome our lifestyle director for Renee Liao to take us through the training this afternoon, I mean, this evening for you and morning for me. <laughs> thank you, thank you again, Nancy. And again, very good morning, good afternoon, good everyone. Uh, so excited to be able to do the part two of the Calm Plan Pitfalls. And truly, really, I'm not sure how many parts are gonna be because there's a lot of great stuff to cover. But Nancy, I just noticed that we have a very special guest who raised their hands. And I know that this gentleman, of course, is none other than our CEO, our founder, our hero, our CEO at the heart of the gold, the man who has created this company and the products that's now changing lives across the globe. I saw that, of course, our amazing CEO, Mr. Rami Mesgarlu, had his hands raised. And of course, we must give uh, <laughs> due respect and time just to see if there's a few words that he would like to share before we get the training started today. So let me go ahead and just... Um, uh, promote to panelists our incredible CEO who just returned back from an amazing trip. Of course, he was out in Europe uh, meeting with a lot of our fashion factories, I believe it was. So some exciting things. So uh, again, I, mean, I have made you panelist. And of course, whenever you would like to, um, I guess, to speak. Rene, you can, you can also make me a co-host so that I can assist. Perfect. You know what? That's exactly why you are I'll make me the my, my host right hand so team partner I today. Can, <laughs> <laughs> you can make me host. I make you co-host so that when you're talking and maybe I need to make them uh, co-host when they come to panelists, I can actually do that. Okay. I'm just, uh, I can still share my screen as a co-host, correct? So I want to make sure. I think I can. So what I'll do here is let me go to participants. Can I just pause my share for a second? Okay, and... all right. Okay, make you the host. Feels like a load off my shoulders making you the host. <laughs> yes, and I have already made, made you co-host now. You're good thank to you go. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. All right, so again, we'll just uh, dive right into it. Of course, uh, Ramin, our wonderful CEO, if you are on the call, would like to speak, just feel free to, uh, you know, raise your hand. And of course, you know, feel free to chime in at any point in time. So again, a very good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. A really important note, which is to make sure you grab and message any of your partners who aren't on the call right now. Just send them a friendly reminder to hop on the call because we have a huge, 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 massive announcement to make as well at the end of this call. We have a very special, special uh, promotion, if I may call it that, called the Build Assist promotion. And so that will be, of course, at the very end of today's training. So before I get started, take a quick few more seconds. And again, just remind all of your teams to get on tonight's training. Okay, so let me just share my screen again here. I think it was already being shared. Wonderful. Yeah, and so of course- would you like to? Yes, super. Perfect. Thank you. Really. No, thank you. Thank you so much, Nancy. Okay, so last week, again, we left off at the Start Start Breakaway, and we just got into talking about the binaries. Now, the one thing that I love about the binary, and I will only, you know, one of the things that I've always wanted to find was a binary plan, because it's the only one that actually pays to infinity. Now, let's just share some of the history with where binary started, you know, 1960s and even earlier, or 1970s, 80s, which was the binaries back then had a rule, which was that the volume on your left team and the right team had to be 50-50. So it's very, very rigid, a bit of a constrictment, if you want to call it that. Because the reality when it comes to binary is that you're never going to have two teams perfectly balanced. It's, it's impossible. Like one team will always be bigger than the other team. Maybe by a lot, perhaps by a little. And so companies, I guess, started to realize that and try to evolve. 
And later on, the newer binaries that came out started to have a one third, two third system. So in other words, they recognize, okay, well, 50-50 is quite hard to have all the time. Let's make it a bit easier for people to qualify for the commissions by having a one-third, two-third system or two-third, one-third system, okay? And of course, however, the, the funny thing is, is that they went one-third, two-third, and they forgot about the 50-50. So in some cases, cases, you might have a nice, perfect balancing of 50-50. And then, for example, every binary cycle uh, company has to work on these things called cycles, okay? Every cycle, you get paid X amount of dollars. In Auckland, we have a 900 CV cycle. That's our first one that pays you $45. Of course, the more that grows to 1,800 or 3,600 or 5,400, the higher commission becomes. But so in the olden, so imagine with 900 CV, if it was the older, older types of binaries, it had to be exactly 450 on one side and 450 on the other side, perfectly balanced, correct? So then of course, but if you had, let's say 300 and 600, you wouldn't get your paycheck because you have to have at least 450 on each side. Then the newer binaries came around. It's okay, well, you know, will I have a 300 and 600 or 600 and 300 left and right side so that you can get paid? But what if you didn't have a bigger leg yet and you had 450 and 450? Then you still wouldn't get paid, correct? And so the really nice thing, of course, about Oculus Global is that we have what's called uh, the variable binary plan, which means we accept 50-50, we accept one third, two third, and we accept two third, one third. So you get paid on every possible combination in binaries. Now, of course, one really big thing we're gonna talk about a bit later on, okay, as a further pitfall. And this is what I was saying and alluding to last week, talking about binaries plans, is that not all binaries are made the same. Some binaries only pay you on one leg or the weaker leg or the smaller leg. Okay, and you don't want that because without going into details yet, let me ask you all a question. Would you want to get paid, let's say, you know, uh, 8% on one leg, or would you want to get 8% on two legs? Very simple question. Okay, the right answer is two. Now, here's a slightly, a slightly trick question for you. Not really, it's not that bad, but would you want to get 10% on one leg or get 8% on two legs? So 10% on one leg or 8% on two legs? Because if you're just doing the math here, you rather get 8% on two legs because essentially it's 8% plus another 8%. It's 16% if you look at it that way, correct? Okay. And so we're gonna dive more into that a bit later on because really, if, a bi if you see a binary plan, it might look good, it pays to infinity, but if it's only paying you on one leg, it ain't good because you ain't getting paid on the other leg, which is usually the bigger leg. So imagine, would you wanna get paid, you know, 10% um, on one leg, or would you rather get, like ours, 8.5% commission on your smaller leg and 8.5% commission on your bigger leg, but the bigger leg is actually double your smaller leg. So really it's like 17% on the right on the bigger leg and 8.5% on the smaller leg. That's like 25.5%. Okay, so you get 8.5 times so 17%. So that's 25.5%. Total is what Auckland is paying you because we pay you on the one third and on the two thirds, which is double the one third. Okay, so anyways, we'll, we'll go more to examples of that a bit, a bit later on. But again, I hope you can all see now why binaries are the best type of plants out there in, in the industry because it's the only one that pays you equally to infinity from day one till forever. All right. Moving along here, we go into pitfall number three. And this is a funny one to talk about. It's called payout and rents. 
ranks. So the first question is, well, does your company have ranks? And just as I mentioned before, with not all binaries being equal, here's the thing. Not all ranks designed by companies are also made equal. Some ranks have negative impact or contradictions when it comes to how you want to build and work with your team. But let's think about this. What is the purpose of ranks? Let's take a pause here. Let me get some feedback. What do you, what do you all think would be one of the main purposes of having ranks? And my question is, you know, why do the majority of companies have ranks? And what's the majority of the company's purposes in having these ranks? Let's see who can type in some of their answers into the group chat. As always, I love to ask questions in my training because I think it really gets you more involved. You start thinking a lot more and you actually absorb a lot more of the training, has a better effect. So what are some of your thoughts on why do companies have ranks and what are they trying to do or the purpose of these ranks? So I see here that Tony says reward for hard work. Okay, yes, most companies will tell you that the higher the rank you go, the much more you can make, okay? Uh, encourage momentum. Yeah, you know, they want to get people to up rise in ranks to perhaps get more income. Ah, Carolyn has a very interesting answer that we're gonna talk about today. Ranks, in actuality, in a lot of companies can create barriers to you getting paid. So it's almost like a mind game where they want to give you these barriers of getting paid so that you think by getting to a higher rank, you can make more income, okay? And oftentimes people are told that it's going to motivate you. But today we are going to break down the differences in ranks with other companies and with ranks here in Opulence Global. So tell me you're ready for this because I got to have your minds, you know, running here a little bit. Uh, I'm just kidding. We have a lot of fun here today. But generally speaking, oh yeah, did you want to add something, Nancy? No, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just, I, I was just looking at the chat and saying, Rene, people are ready, 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 ready. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, spill it out. Okay, watch me as, a, as you know, the Trinidad and Tobago is always say, right? So in actuality, ranks actually in most companies have one purpose and one purpose only. And it's not actually to motivate you. They might wanna tell you that, so you think it's a good thing and it's good for your team, but in actuality, the only purpose of having a rank in most other companies is to restrict the flow of money from the company to you. It's restricting how much you make because Again, higher the rank, the more uh, commission you will earn. And I've seen a lot of ranks where if you start out at this rank, you, own, like the, you know the whole stair-step breakaway that we showed you before last week? You start at 3%, then you sell more, you recruit more people, you get 5%, then 8%, then 10%. So again, they're, they're actually the question is, why wouldn't they pay you? I'm just going to back it up here, right? Remember this, this diagram over here, team? You start off as, as this, you get 5% commission and then 8, 13, 18. The question is, why wouldn't they give you 18 to begin with? Wouldn't that be better to not have to jump through all these ranks and hurdles to get to 18%? If you just could start off with 18%, but they tell you, oh, if you can advance rank to supervisor, your commission goes higher. You see, this in by itself is the difference between these companies and in our company. Again, you as a brand new lifestyle advisor today, you and me, I've been here for 16 years, LV4, we make exactly the same percentage commission. So nothing says because I'm an LV4 that I'm going to get paid 25% or 50% or 30%. And because you just started as an LA, you can get 2%. Like, would you like that team? Would it be nice if all the lifestyle advisors only got paid 5%, meanwhile, all the LD4s got 18%. I wouldn't mind, but it wouldn't be a fair playing field. And I believe, and I think our CEO also believes that if you come on 
and you're brand new. And I've been here for 16 years, almost. And we both work the same amount of hard effort. We deserve to get paid the same amount of commission. Of course, there's going to be other smaller things that are more juicy, but the core part, the core commission that you're trying to build for that long living residual income is equal here. It's an equal playing field. And you may be thinking, well, how does our ranks come to place? And we're going to cover that a bit later on. But I hope you can see the biggest difference off the bat here is that you're working brand new. I've been here for many years. We're getting paid the exact same amount of commission. And so the reason why though companies actually do have these ranks, like you were thinking, well, if they could pay on 18%, then why don't they? But the reason why is because they can't afford to, right? They don't have perhaps the profit margins or the right kind of design in their plan. Whereas we with fashion in, our, in all of our products, we control all the manufacturing, we have really amazing profit margins. But more importantly than that is these companies, they need to create what's called a story, right? They need to create a story that can attract other people to want to go and become part of their company. Does that make sense? So if they can't afford to pay everyone the 18%, then if they try to pay everyone equally, instead of 18% for a few and 3% for the others, it might just all be like 5%, right? But then no one's creating that big story. And because these companies, you know, for whatever challenges that they might have, they can't really expand quickly without having that, that, that story. So companies put ranks in place so that a lot of people don't make money. Maybe a few key people, you know, who have these highest ranks can make more money. And they're the ones who are constantly on stage saying, hey, you know, I've been here, whatever, I'm making all this money. But I would prefer to see, and our CEO always says this, we don't, we don't have to have less people, you know, making millions per year and have more people making five figure, six figure incomes per year. And I'm okay with that. I love that actually, because it means that if I was brand new, which I was 16 years ago, it means that I have a better chance of making enough income to be able to leave my job. Otherwise it's only gonna be reserved for one or two key people at the top. Does that make sense everyone? I hope that's starting to make sense here, right? So. Again, one question that I'd like to ask people is, why does someone who accomplished this super NATO commander rank, you know, make more than you when you're both, both not birth, when you're both working so hard? We believe in equal effort, you know, equal kind of payout. And so the other thing that we're mentioning before is the payout is also related to the rank. Because if a company says to you, that their company payout, which we covered last week, that the company payout was like 50%. But in order to, but you had to accomplish this super NATO commander rank or super special triple diamond, five star, whatever, janitor rank, whatever, we're making fun jokes here. But if you had to do these really high ranks to get full access to the comm plan, then you're not really getting paid the 50% because you had to get to that high rank that most people don't get. And if I may, uh, just to share one story that I hope will actually paint this picture really well, which was that a long time ago, I had someone come into our Toronto office and it was actually one of my team members who met another person in a different company. And they invited this person to come and attend a meeting at our head office. And when we finished the presentation, uh, this other person from, from a different company, very polite person, but you know, he's really, I guess, excited about his company, came to me and said, you know, uh, you know, wow, Renee, congratulations, you know, it's a great whatever. Uh, you know, I would love for you to meet, uh, you know, one of uh, our top guys in my company. And, and he tried saying to me, yeah, you know, my top guy, he has this, uh, this rank, it was a really fancy, it was like a, it, like a triple diamond, ultra ruby something, you know, those kind of ranks, right? And I was like, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I would love to meet this person, right? 
And he kept on saying, you know, yeah, you know, he did, uh, he, he makes so much money, you know, I think like six figures or seven figures a month, something like that. And I said, wow, I said, you know, this person, he, he probably must have, uh, you know, uh, one of the highest ranks in the company. And then he goes, yes, you know, he, he has the highest rank in the company. And I went on by asking him, well, I mean, he, he must be really, really special. I mean, you know, he must be, you know, there might be only a few people that have that rank in your company. He's like, yeah, he's actually the only one that has this rank in that company. And I said, oh, out of curiosity, um, how many people are there in your company? He goes, well, you know, there's about, uh, let's say about, you know, I forgot what he said, like 300,000 people or half a million people. There's around half a million people. He said, yeah, there's about half a million people, 500,000 people in that company. So then I asked him, so what you're telling me is that for me, to have his rank and to have his income, that my odds are one out of 500,000 people. It was like 0. 0.0000, whatever 1% chance. Cause there's only one person that had that rank. And I think he realized he made a bit of a mistake with me cause I knew how to ask these questions. And I seen their plan, their plan, really, you had to get to that rank to make any kind of money. Otherwise, it wasn't like our company where we get paid the same percentage commission. Does that make sense, team? So anyhow, I thought it was really funny that when I asked him, so what you're telling me is that my odds of making this money that you're bragging, that your upline is making, that my odds are one out of half a million people. So the beautiful thing here is in our company, we have people who are LD1s, LAs, LD2s, who can actually perhaps maybe make more than LD3s and 4s. Depends, right? I mean, you have to have the volume at the end of the day. Usually LD3 and 4s, you have to have a minimum volume requirement. But then again, the key thing is that when you're starting off working hard, your commissions, the percentage is the same as the people higher above. The only difference in opulence is your weekly commission as an LA is a thousand per week, which is 4,000 per month. It's a lot already. LD1 is 1,500 per week or roughly 6,000 per month. And LD2, it's like 25 or 100 per week. That's like 10 grand a month. And again, let's say you're only an LA. You can make a thousand per week and you should have made 2,000. Again, we do not have any cycle overages or caps. So if you made 2000 this week, but you can only get paid 1000, we don't take away the 2000. We only pay you the 1000 and the volume required to pay the other 1000, we leave it in your binary legs. So that the extra 1000, you get it the next week or the next week or the next week. So you never lose a single dime of sales that happens or a single penny of sales that happen in your organization. And you and me, this is a key point. I'm LD4, you could be a brand new lifestyle advisor. We are making the exact same cycles. If you have 5,400 CV, you make 460. If I have 5,400 CV, I make 460. If you have 900 CV, you make 45. If I had 900 CV, I make 45. So we all have the equal chance of having financial freedom here at Optimus Global. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm going into too much detail because you know it's I don't get often chances just to really dive in this deep, like a deep dive into the comp plan and overages and carryover limits, as Carolyn mentioned, and flushing. But this is really what makes Optimus so much more different and better than other companies out there. Wow, it's 9.30, I gotta, I gotta bust a track here. Okay, so continuing on with here, um, one question that we always ask to people is if you have to reach these ranks in order to unlock you know, um, bonuses, and usually a lot of the companies the bonuses are really, really huge only at the highest ranks. This is another thing. Most companies, the bigger, bigger bonuses only come at the highest ranks. We just launched the variance bonus, which was designed 
for the first two ranks, LD1 and 2. And it's actually really easy to get there. You launch two, they launch two. Boom, six people, you're already LD1. And now this huge variance bonus is available for you. And it's, it's actually harder for the LD3s and 4s to qualify for this bonus because we had to become MGS qualified. So you, the criteria for LD1 and 2s to get the variance bonus is easier than the LD3s and 4s, right? So it's almost like the reverse. Because in other companies, if you have to reach these higher ranks to get the big bonuses, then what do these bonuses have to do with you? In other words, in most companies, most of their bonuses have nothing to do with 99% of the company, uh, uh, in, uh, of the people in that company. I remember a company uh, that was doing telecommunications. And if you reached called SVP, Senior Vice President, only if you got to that level, which people would spend like five, 10, 15 years chasing down this rank, then you would get a, a initial bonus of 1% commission to infinity. But that's a huge bonus. So that's, that's, that's huge, right? 1% on everything down to infinity. But again, 99.9% .9 of the people in the company never got that bonus because you, you couldn't get to that rank. So if you have to reach these really hard ranks to get these bonuses, they have nothing to do with you. Ranks are paying the butt uh, in other companies. They're hard to achieve and it's not easy, then you have to maintain the rank and we're getting to a really juicy part here. But so to share one more quick story here, um, which is uh, I met a gentleman, again, that uh, was driving to, let's say a lady, trying to reach this SVP rank or RVP rank. And every few months we catch up for coffee, it's the same story, you know? And it was like 15 years later, she never reached that rank. And last I heard of this person, she had quit that company. Can you imagine if she spent the last 15 years building with opulence where she'd be today? Like, wow, wow. Anyhow, the other question is, can you lose your rank? And if you can lose your rank, then do you lose your bonuses? Again, at opulence, can you lose your rank once you attain it? What's the answer team? Once you reach LD1, 2, 3, or 4, can you actually lose your rank? No, you can't. And I can warn you one thing, and you'll see in my future examples, if, if you can lose your rank, like in other companies, we don't do it here, just again, to state very clearly, and then other people can lose their ranks in your team, do you know how demotivating that can be for your organization? So the key thing in Auckland is you can never lose your rank. You must maintain some things to keep getting paid at that rank, but you don't lose your rank. You don't have to rebuild the structure again and again and again. In other companies, once you lose your rank, they get to rebuild, rebuild that structure. from You start from ground zero again, rebuild that structure again. You don't have to do that here at Auckland as global. Because again, I just mentioned, can your team lose their ranks? And if your team can lose their ranks, then do you lose your rank too, right? If one person at the bottom loses their rank, they have a toppling effect. That does not happen here. There's no domino effect of someone in your team losing their rank and then all the people on the way up also lose their rank. It doesn't happen here. So let's look at some examples. In this diagram, generally speaking, to become a D rank, you have to have two E's, okay? And to become a C rank, how many D's do you have to have? So let's say here, you are a C, okay? To become a C, how many D's do you need to have? You gotta have three D's. To become a B rank, how many C's do you have to have to become a B rank? You gotta have, you see your answers in the chat here, to be a B rank, you gotta have how many C's? You can see my diagram. So D needs to have two E's, C needs to have three D's, and B needs to have four C's, right? And A needs to have how many B's? Five B's. 
So this is again, a general example of how ranks do work in other companies. It's harder and harder. They make it like you to have more and more of these kind of people. Opulence, we just stuck to the two, get two, get two, get two, which is the most easiest way of doing it. So this is how ranks generally work. Now on my next slide, let's just say, for example, that you are now a D. So you in green, you are a D. And your goal is you want to become what? You want to become a C rank because you're currently a D. And you're, so right now you have one D on your left, one D on the right, you have one E in the middle. So you have two Ds and you have one E as rank people, right? So what's your goal? Your goal is you want to help this middle person who is an E to become a what? You want this E to become a D. Yes, because once you have three Ds, you become a C. This is already what we call a composition plan contradiction. It's a, it's a term that our CEO taught and me, and now we want to teach you. Why is it a contradiction? Because now, where does all of your focus go to you? All of your focus goes to who? It goes to E, because you want to help them become a D, correct? Whereas in a really good plan, you want to help everyone equally. Like in opulence, you want to help both of your legs because all of that gets paid to you eventually, right? So what happens though is now you're, if these other Ds are coming to you for help, you're going to be like, well, you know what? I, I, I'm too busy. Let me help E here. And the reason why, so you might be thinking, well, no, I can still help D in this left D and this right D while I help E. But the fact that you're already picking and choosing is not good. But more importantly, is here's why you really don't want to help D too much. Because my question for you is, what happens if one of these other Ds, this D or this D, what happens if they were to become a C? Ah, that's the question. What happens if one of these two Ds, before you became a D, they became a C. Uh-oh, now their rank has surpassed your rank. And I can tell you in these companies, it's like game over. Yes, you lost money. All these bonuses and commissions you would have got because you're that first rank at in your organization, you got. Once someone below you gets that rank, like they, so one of the Ds become the C first, from that person downwards, usually you got cut off. No bonuses, probably less commissions. Yes, thank you, Carolyn. Game over. My goodness. And this is exactly what happened to me and Sherry Zhao and Tammy Fung. So as you know, Sherry Zhao, who is also on the call here, it's going to trigger up some, some funny memories for, for me and her, and as well as Tammy. In our last company, uh, for those who don't know, uh, Sherry had actually uh, sponsored me and my family into our last company. And, uh, but just FYI, uh, when, I, when we, I left that company, I, of course, you know, called back Sherry. And then Sherry, of course, came in and ended up joining with me here in Opulence. And now we're both essentially financially free because of this company. But here's the funny story that happened like 18 years ago, something like that. So Sherry got in first and Sherry Zhao had introduced my family. And she was like this second rank called RTD. All right, like Royal Training Director. And we had gone to Training Director. So as RTD, every time we bring in people into the company, she kept getting this huge, nice bonus, like 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever, right? And, and I think she got some great bonuses, like $1,000, $2,000 bonuses because of that. Then what happened was one day, we also became RTDs. So from training director, we became regional training directors. Now, us and Sherry, we share the same rank. 
But guess where all those all those bonuses that she got before, where they all went to now? Any guesses? While I sip on some water here. <laughs> so all of those bonuses that Sherry used to get. Also, by the way, Nora was also in that company too. <laughs> she was like, it's a very stressful company and draining. Yeah. So all those bonuses went to me instead. And so I noticed when that happened that Sherry, um, you know, and, and her team kind of almost looked a bit demotivated, I'd say, and not as like the fire was kind of going away. But what happened was, I think eventually we got pretty close to actually surpassing Sherry. And, and when that happened, um, I remember asking Sherry, I was like, Sherry, why don't you come into the meetings? Why aren't you doing, you know, why aren't you more active? And I recall her saying something like, well, Renee, um, you, you've passed me or you're about to pass me. Uh, it's, it's so hard for me to find someone else to on my other legs, whatever, to try to do what you're doing. And I'm always going to be chasing. And that's the reality of what happens in a lot of other, like, no, in these other companies, when you hear of the SVP or the RVP or the double diamond, double ruby, think of this question. What happened to all of the people above these people? So if you have, you know, like these people who are these SVPs or triple diamonds, right? Yeah, Sherry knew as well. I talk about this story. <laughs> Definitely means a lot of bells, right, Sherry? Um, again, we're just so blessed to be here together, though. Um, and but, anyways, yeah. Imagine in these other companies, wherever that SVP is, imagine what happens to all of the people above. They're permanently screwed. They are permanently screwed. They might as well just join again at the bottom and try to build it better. But better yet, they just better joining opulence. So here's the cool part with opulence. Let's say you're a brand new lifestyle advisor. I think I said it last week, right? You have one LV4 or presidential or royal on the left. You have one LV4 presidential or royal on the right. You are, my goodness, set for life. Just because you have higher ranked people than you, it has nothing to do. It has no harm on you. In fact, it... It secures your financial freedom because all that volume coming in, nothing restricts that volume just because of rank. The volume comes up to you all the same. There's no restriction. There's no stoppage because of the rank stopping the volume. It goes all the way up and you now have $1,000 per week for the rest of your life. You add a few people, boom, you have now 1500 a week, 2500 a week, 5000 a week, 10000 a week. You can just literally buy your own positions to get to a higher rank, right? So that's the difference with ranks. And people oftentimes don't look deeply into how ranks actually work. Because if they actually, and this, again, we said it before, right? You know what you know. You know what you don't know. There's certain things that you don't know that you do know. And there's things that you don't know that you don't know. This is truly one of those things where if you don't know what you don't know, you don't know how to ask these questions about the ranks because you don't know what to ask. And you don't even know what's not good because you haven't seen what's good yet until you watch this training video. <laughs> right? And so, you know, I really have to give it back to our CEO and founder who has just designed the most remarkable competition plan on this universe. And we have it here at Auckland's Global. Combine that with everything else at Auckland's, we are the best. All right, so let's go on to our next scenario. So I get so excited. Is it weird I get excited about this kind of stuff? Uh, maybe I'm weird. Any, anyhow, let's say now that you are still a D. Okay, so in this example, you are a D. We, I just explained the previous scenario where uh, the C, right? The person who's a D has now become a C, right? So the person below you 
advanced ranks and became a C, right? Now again, you will have lost all the, of the bonuses from C downwards, instant game over. So again, if people in your team can advance rank, the question you have to ask is, does that hurt you somehow? And again, in ours, it doesn't, all right? And here's our third example that I kind of mentioned briefly, but here's a diagram for it. Whereas if one of your Ds were to lose their rank, look at this domino effect. This is so crazy. So person D here loses their rank and becomes an E. What happens to you? Your C rank becomes a D rank. Then this B, who has a B rank, becomes a C rank. And this A, who has an A rank, now drops down to a B rank. It's like a huge domino effect. All these amazing people who were leaders and building, imagine how demotivating that is. But the companies will tell you an opposite. They'll sell you a different vision to say, hey, you know what? We want to motivate you to keep on finding that next person who's going to become your B rank, C rank, B rank, E rank. Keep finding those stars and those gems. Yeah, but why do we have to keep deranking? Why couldn't they just leave the ranks the way they are? Again, it comes down to the company just doesn't want to pay you those commissions. They're trying to restrict the flow of funds from the company, again, back down to you. Ranks are so important because we could talk about it for days and days. And in our company, again, as a lifestyle advisor, you already have the best earning streams to begin with. You've got the retail profits, the wholesale profits, the team commissions. You reach the first rank, just LD. Oh, and you can also get MGRS bonus as an, L, as an LA. Then you reach the first rank, which is you sponsor two, they get two. Six people total, that's it. You unlock the car bonus, right? You unlock higher weekly commissions, uh, the, the, the actual maximum that you can earn per week. Again, there's no overages you unlock the variance bonus, which can be massive. And so, and then you get double the MGRS shares. So, you know, in our company, we believe if we can make help the new person, if we can help the new person make anywhere from at least 500 to 2000 per month, quick as possible, which a lot of people do, you're gonna have a tremendous stable business for the rest of your lives. Because then to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, like to the next 5,000 is easier. The next 10,000 comes even faster. So that's what I love about Oculus Global. All right. Can you guys handle more? <laughs> Let's try to end off with this one here, which is our uh, payout pitfall number four. It's payout gimmicks and car programs. So just be careful when you see companies with car pro programs that make you sign a new lease. So I've seen so many companies that say, okay, you know, you, you, you earned the car bonus, go and sign yourself a new, a new lease. What do you think that happens to people? What do you think happens to people who go and sign a new lease. Yeah, they get stuck with that lease or that finance. And people, it's, it was said, there's a company a long time ago, another story that was, was, was promoting, we have 350 people that got a free BMW. Free BMW. It was bananas all over Toronto. People talk about this car, this car stuff, right? And when I asked them, okay, well, so what happened was it was super easy to get the first payment for the car. But then the second payment, third payment, and the ongoing to qualify for those payments became very hard. So fast forward like a year later or so, suddenly you had all these BMWs on lease busters, people who couldn't afford to pay their, 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 their BMWs. And because they rushed into it, they got a bad deal. No one was wanted to take over their lease. A lot of people actually went bankrupt because they couldn't afford to pay for their cars. 
can't pay for your car, they go after, and you can't get rid of it, they go after other stuff, your homes even. So just be careful so in opulence, what we say is, hey, if you qualify this month, you get your car bonus. You don't qualify, no worries. But it's the same qualification every month. It's not harder to get later on. It's the same thing every month, right? You get your MGS, you probably got your car bonus, it's, you get it. If you don't qualify next month, no worries. But you're not stuck with having to lease or finance a new car. Now, it can't be a super old car. A lot of the cars like four to six years new, we, you get the car payment, right? And if you don't want the car, we have a backup option for you. You can get double the amount in shopping credits. And a lot of people that I know actually prefer to get double the amount of shopping credits and then sell those products at retail and make back even more. But the whole point though, is that we don't screw people again with these car programs. If you don't qualify in the next month, now you're stuck with it, okay? And so um, we changed it so that our car program should be about four years or newer. Again, we have a backup plan. You can double the amount in products, all right? Ooh, pitfall number five, payout flushing or blocking of commissionable volume. This is the one where it pains me when I see this, right? Does your compensation plan flush volume? Now, there was a joke many years ago on this company. Initials were MA, and I won't say the whole company's name, but they had so many ways to flush your volume Someone made a video on it and they would explain how it flushed the volume. And then you would hear the toilet flushing. And the most ironic thing about this company, there's like 13 ways to flush your volume. And the most ironic thing about this company was I saw one of their like international global conferences and they had a big toilet in the middle of the stage. And they're trying to show you, hey, you know, if you're using this thing at home, it has chemicals flush it down the toilet. If you're using this soap, you know, there's chemicals, flush it down the toilet. I kept thinking, wow, you, you guys flush everything. <laughs> you even flush volume, right? And yeah, sorry, that's probably not a, a really nerd kind of geeky kind of joke. Sorry. Anyhow, Opulence Global simply does not flush your volume, okay? Questions to think about. Does these other companies flush your volume after you reach a certain payout? In my first company, again, I didn't know what, what I didn't know. In the binary system, once you got 10,000 and 10,000 CV, okay, which is 20,000 total, they pay 10,000 on the smaller side. Uh, so 10% on the smaller side. So 10,000 left, 10,000 right. We got paid 10% on the smaller side. So I got $1,000. And, and again, being green as grass, I thought, wow, if I can make $1,000 in a week, I'd be super happy. I didn't know what I didn't know yet. Because imagine though, if you had 10,000 on one side and 100,000 or a million on the other side, in that company, they would pay you 10% of the smaller side, which is 1,000. The other bigger side volume, guess what happened to all that volume? Guess what happened to all that volume? It was flushed. It was flushed. But you know what my uplines told me? They said, Renee, don't even worry about it because your bigger leg, you'll get more volume. You know, yeah, don't worry about that bigger leg. You'll get more volume. And I believe that. It, it kind of made sense. But then I met opulence. And Ramin asked me, Renee, why would they take the volume when they could just left it there for you? You earned it. That was the volume that came from your team. Why did they take that volume from you? Then I got pissed. I was like, I was an idiot. You know, I ate the cake. <laughs> I ate their cake. Again, because I didn't know that the cake was a dirty cake, a bad cake a deceiving cake, right? We don't do that here. Next, all right, so Opens Global will never flush volume after any kind of payout. Another question, does your competition plan flush volume after a certain period of time? 
again, an, so another company that says every year on your anniversary date, whatever volume that you don't have, guess what happens to that volume? This is crazy. Is that every year on your anniversary, they're going to, I could play this like audio flushing the toilet thing, right? Yeah, go to the toilet. They flush the volume. It's crazy. It never happens here. Thank you. There's a toilet <laughs> icon. Here's another one. Does your competition plan uh, have a block on the volume that can accumulate? Right? You know, is, is there a cap on how much volume can accumulate? So some companies say, okay, you know, the, we, we have no flushing, but, and a wise man, wise man once told me, anything before the but is BS. So we don't flush volume, but the most you can carry over is a million dollars of volume. Again, not bad, but again, I didn't know what I didn't know. I ate that cake. And Ramin says, well, Renee, why would they just let you keep all the volume? Keep all the volume you've got. We have people in this company that have like $5 million, $10 million, $20 million of bank volume on one of their legs sitting there for them. OMG, like this is things I, I didn't know before that, again, we learn later on. Uh, you know, again, uh, so, so there, this is the, the question, is there a maximum how much you can carry over? But other companies besides that even have a block on which volume can come up the system. So some companies say, okay, well, if you have this person at this rank, we can't give you the same volume. That's what I meant by the last question. Again, we have infinite carryover volume. There's no block on the volume. And the last question here is, is there a maximum on how much commission you can make from your business center? Here is a tricky one, okay? Um, if you are at home, and you have a paper and pen. We have three minutes. We're gonna draw this out and leave it with an, an end tonight's training on this on this note here. So this is not the company, my first company I was win. They told me, okay, the most I could make was a thousand per week, right? So if you can draw yourself a circle, okay. Actually, do I have an app? So imagine you are allowed to make a thousand dollars per circle. So draw a circle, okay, and put a thousand dollars in that circle. I want you to maybe try to do this here on the screen. Uh, can't, can't quite do that. Here we go, whiteboard. So I'm gonna draw for you guys. So you can make a thousand dollars, okay. Oh, I must have blocked. Can you all see my screen? Hopefully you can make 1K on the center. Yes, okay, all right. And you built two legs, correct? So you built two legs to get to 1K. I said, Renee, don't worry. We're going to give you a second center. Here's your second center. Okay. And if you build these two legs, you get another 1K. It's got 1K. All right. There we go. Then if you have another center, uh, uh, where's, my, where's my drawing thing? Not the one that draw. Text, no, draw, there you go, thank you. Sorry about that, there we go. Here's another one. If you build these two legs, you get another 1K. That making sense so far, team? Okay, so really to get all these, uh, to get 3,000, I actually had to build how many legs here so far to get 3,000? I did build one leg, two legs, three legs, four legs. Then they said, okay, well, well, after the first three, which comes at like one piece, to get another thousand, somewhere down below, when, when you finish getting the 1,000, you can open another one down here somewhere. So imagine this is much, imagine it's much further below, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so imagine now we're much further down below, somewhere here, dot, dot, dot. And now you open another center, this is your four center, right? Number four. And you get another 1K. But here, you have to build, because there's nothing below yet, you got to build two more legs. So to get 4,000, another one uh, per week, I had to build the initial one, two, three, four. 
five and six legs. To get another 1,000 down below somewhere, okay? Because again, there's, there's nothing underneath it right now. I had to build another leg and another leg. That's leg seven and leg eight. So, so far I could build eight legs to get to 5,000 per week. And this continues. So to get to 6,000, so again, at 5K, we have eight legs, sorry. At 6K, we have 10 legs. <laughs> at 7K, we have 12 legs now. At eight legs, we have 14, nine legs, 16. At 10K, so again, we have eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. we have 18, we built 18 legs to get a 10K per week payout. In Opelance, you just build two legs. Two. Two legs. You just go from LD1, two, three, four. It's not that hard. But do you see the difference? So my point is, even though this company told me they were a binary system that paid to infinity, because the maximum you can earn per business center was only a thousand per week, it's not really a binary, is it? In our plans with one center, you can make 20,000 per week per center. This company per center, 1,000 per week. That means you have to open so many legs. So question, does this look like you to look, look like a binary plan to you anymore? Does this look like a binary plan? If you wanna make 5,000, 6,000 per week? No, you gotta build so many. It's like a unit level plan. You need to build so many legs. And so I, I sorry for the bad drawing. Uh, don't worry about it if you don't get it. Just understand that, hey, in our uplands, one business center, two legs can unlock a twenty thousand dollars per week. Um, and and with three of them, it's sixty thousand dollars per week. And I can't wait to continue with with our next part, uh, which is of course our next pitfall number six. And the last part that I had on that slide, of course, was in other companies, they make you do things like, if you wanna have three centers, you gotta pay double the smart buy, all that nonsense. In Office Global, you launch a lifestyle advisor, you pay 150 per month smart buy, you have three centers working already. So anyhow, we'll save the rest for next week. Uh, I'm sorry if I went into crazy mode, uh, geeky mode, but again, thank you, Nancy, for being our host this evening. And thank you for all of our uh, partners for tuning in and watching today's training on complex pitfalls number two and we'll do number three hopefully sometime soon so thank you <laughs> thank you thank you so much Renee. i think this is this is very 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 helpful because as partners if we don't understand our compensation plan and that's the key that's actually what drives our business i think this is so important i hope we'll get an opportunity so that you're able to complete uh that session because to me I am learning so much and I'm just imagining the amount of time I spent where I was with that compensation plan. If I were in Opulence Global, how would my life be? So this is important. Thank you so much, Renee, for educating us. Knowledge is power. And when we don't have that knowledge as partners, then anyone will come with flashing, looking flashing uh, compensation plan and we we need to understand and challenge that so renee i don't know whether you have another major announcement for you to make or oh, um... yes <laughs> wow uh, my yes. goodness <laughs> we'll so i want to give one. it to you so so that you make that major announcement um you're the most appropriate person to do that then we oh, end you. the call well, we, we, we can do it together. Uh, you're definitely more than qualified too. So why don't you share that screen? I think Ivy had it for you in the in the announcements deck. Do you have it on your side? Because Ivy said that you had it. Uh, let me see. Uh, just a, a second. Okay. So I team, am. is there anyone with any question? Any question? Any question? All right, let me share my screen. I have seen it. I will share the screen. 
and you will announce it for us. Oh, Can I thank say you for giving me the honors. No, thank you for giving love. me. I, you should do it, but thank you for sharing. So our build assist promotion. OMG, get ready for this. Okay, starting March 1st, the six bottles what? of FOL is back. So what we got as a bit of feedback from some people is that, you know, instead of the $1,000 fashion mystery box, I got some people who just really love FOL and like my, and they want to sign up uh, for the LA plus versus the LA. If the LA plus, instead of the thousand dollar fashion and mystery box, if they could get the six bottles of fountain of life. And basically here's a crazy thing team. Okay. As of March 1st, and notice we didn't put, an, uh, the, there's no end date to this promotion. Until further notice, when you launch again as an LA Plus, you can choose a $1,000 mystery box or six bottles of Fountain of Life. Now, let me remind you, before the $1,000 fashion mystery box, you could choose to get $500 in the personal care slash health mystery box, $500, correct? Retail value. I can tell you right now, the retail value of, of these six bottles in a lot of countries is over. Even in Canada, after taxes, the retail value after taxes is over $500. So again, we're getting almost $600 here um, of FOL. But in short, it's just more flexibility. You know what? A lot of people had brought this feedback to the company. And so the one thing that we love about Optimus Global is, again, we have a CEO who uh, has come from the industry. He's made his fortune and his success in the industry. And he listens to us. And oh, I do see our CEO uh, back on the call. I'm not sure if we can just maybe, uh, if he wants to share a few words again, Rami, if you are on the call, Thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of all of us here at Alpha's Global. Thank you for this amazing six bottles. Huge, huge build this promotion. Again, starting March the 1st. So starting tomorrow, of course, any LA Pluses can now choose from the $1,000 fashion mystery box or again, six bottles of FOL. And please folks do send in your thanks uh, to our CEO again uh, for this incredible uh, build this promotion. We're just so lucky again to have him. And again, Nancy, I know you're pumped for this promotion too, right? <laughs> oh, I think you're muted there, Nancy. Sorry about that. So sorry. I'm so excited. I'm saying I've just, I just saw this promotion this morning. I could not believe it. It was like, OMG. What an opportunity, what an opportunity. And this is the best opportunity again, given an opportunity, you can choose to have the mystery box or to have six bottles of Fountain of Life. Oh my God, this is so amazing. That is how flexible our company is. And of course, having our CEO, a man with a heart of gold. Um, I don't know that he would like to say anything. Uh, I don't know, Rene, I don't know, for some reason, I'm not able to see... Uh, no worries, him. no worries. I, you know, he, he just came back from a long trip. And he's trying to spend some time with his, his family. Okay. And of course, uh, but he's still on the call, I guess. Uh, you know, oh, oh, speaking of our incredible CEO, <laughs> <laughs> he's back. Good he's evening, here. Renee. Hi, Renee. Good job on the comp plan. I see he's still having fun with the numbers. Yeah, <laughs> I know what? I learned from the best. So thank you again. Uh, I was telling the team that really you opened up my eyes to so much of the things I didn't realize before. And so I think everyone tonight can really fully appreciate how amazing our offense comp plan is. So thank you so much for me. Yeah, we used to have a lot of fun with that. When we started, you know, we're a young company and uh, there were so many companies out there. They were all bigger, older, you know, the Amways and Herbalife of the world. And we had this, this young company. We just came out. The only thing we had on our side was my experience with the comp plan, my, you know, my credibility in the industry. And uh, we started at my home office. So we became, you know, I started training our 
people who could manage the numbers like Renee. Remember, I used to do like four hour training seminars. Imagine doing oh, the boot camp at the hotel. Four hours of plant training. <laughs> I loved it, but I'm kind of geeky that way. <laughs> we used to, um, I used to spill all the beans about compliance secrets of the industry. And this is why the other big guys in the industry didn't like me because like Ramin, you know, because I was a top compliance guy expert in the world. So when I spoke, people listened and they're saying, why are you saying these things? Oh, because it was the truth. So anyway, uh, those were the days, 18, no, we don't, we're, we're, we're matured up now. We don't do that so as much. Well, I'm matured, don't know about you. <laughs> I think me and Sherry still do it. <laughs> You're still having fun with, with all that stuff. For sure. But yeah, uh, the, the six bottle FOL pack, it's, it's insane, right? It's absolutely insane. LAP, you know, um, it, you know, it's nice being global. Offers a lot of options for you guys to build worldwide. It's nice in this day and age with the government mantra, government mandates and all this nonsense that's going on. You have a choice to build it globally and then take your business and go wherever you want. That's the thing about our business. Um, but the down, uh, the challenge to that is, you know, we got a lot of products and every country has their own regulations and fashion seems to be, because it's such a hot thing. Every country is really taxing it harshly, you know? So some countries and all, it, you know, when they, and the worst part is some countries, they open up when they open up the packages and then they steal products. They steal some of those items in their mystery box and, so, you know, we learn as we go that we have to be agile on our feet and be flexible and, you know, and we pay attention. And this is new because for me, it was always about everybody gets the same thing. No, no member left behind, no exceptions. But uh, it's, it's a different type of world where you have to be flexible. So we're listening, we're learning. And uh, so we know we're offering another option. So I didn't call this a build assist promotion for a reason because it's not a promotion. So we call it build assist option. So it's here to stay for now. We don't know how long, but it's here. So what they'll give a real boost to the LA, LA plus. And I want some, I want you guys to enjoy some really big variance bonus checks. And so it's, it's a great investment into you guys. I know you'll have a lot of fun with that. And some of these are countries where fashion is hard to get in or people just steal them. Like, you know, it's the customs people. They open it and take mm -hmm. items. So it causes, you know, who was it? I think it was, uh, well, it was somebody in Thailand. I think what happened. Aranya, was, Aranya. Aranya. Yeah. Not only she got some stuff stolen out of her box, and then she had to pay like $800 tax on the shoe or something that, you know what? Like, we have no control over the customs. So that's what, but the nice part about our company, we have many verticals, many product lines. And FOL is a star. You guys, everybody loves FOL. And we don't take our best product and put it aside and have you pay for it. We actually give it, give you the best product for free. You know, it's not like, so anyways, enjoy it. I know a lot of you guys will feast on this. I look forward to seeing massive variance bonus, uh, bonus uh, checks going out this month. Yeah, it's just so rare to have a CEO who's telling the field that he wants to pay out and see people with huge checks. And I can promise you one thing, uh, our CEO, I mean, that we're going to do our absolute best to show you how how amazing uh, of an option we have now. And we're going to really prove to you that uh, that this should stay, right, team, for the for the long haul. So we're <laughs> our butts off. And of course, Ramin, uh, you know, you're, you're you're exhausted. I know you just came back from your trip to uh, Europe. Uh, you're, we're leaving very soon next week for our, our, our cruise together. Uh, please get some rest and, and get some time to, to yourself and your family. And we'll see you, of course, on the cruise. Cannot wait. <laughs> look forward to it. Thank you for uh, coming tonight. Thank Anytime. you, Nancy. Thank you, thank you, thank Nancy, you. for your great job. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. I'm so humbled to share this stage with you, our CEO, and bringing the goodies to us. Uh, just like Rene has said, Looking forward to meeting you soon in that cruise. And I'm sure we'll be together very, very, very soon. Thank you so much. And have a good night, everyone. Have a good day to all of us who are in the morning hour. And see you soon. Bye-bye. As always, to the billions. Yes, we are one team, one, one dream. dream. To, to the, the billion. billion. The billion. Okay, thank, thank you, everyone. You. Have a good night. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.